Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are taking a look at another of these 2020 Mojo Fun figures. At this point, you're probably wondering, boy, this is one huge line of figures. How many more could Mojo Fun possibly have in store for us? Well, unfortunately, this is the second to last. The only other one that we have left after this is the brand new yellow brownish version of the Baryonyx, which looks to be a really cool figure as well. But this one is actually a figure that I've already reviewed. Once again, I have reviewed the alternate color scheme because Mojo kind of surprised me by sending a few alternate versions of figures that I had already reviewed recently in a box that I had no idea they were creating, I did not know they were creating alternate color schemes, and this one is actually what we had seen in the promotional images for their 2020 Ankylosaurus. So when I received the initial version, I was kind of confused and assumed that maybe they had decided to alter the paint scheme to look a little bit different, a little bit flashier, but as it turns out, they are actually creating two different paint schemes for their figures, so that's a really cool decision on their part to give us alternate variation and in general to give people choices as far as which color scheme they would prefer to go with when ordering an Ankylosaurus. The last version was kind of a flashy or brighter color scheme for an Ankylosaurus. This one is a much darker, kind of a more natural looking color scheme, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So just like the Mancherosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus Rex, when it came to their alternate color schemes, we have actually reviewed the sculpt of this figure already, so if you want to see a more detailed review of the overall sculpt of this Ankylosaurus, make sure you check down in the description as I will include a link to the very first review I did of the somewhat more colorful version of the Ankylosaurus, but as far as this one goes, we're really going to just check and see what's new on this one, as opposed to the previous version, because we already did look at the previous version, and I really quite liked that one. So, looking at this one, you can see that the head is primarily this very nice, kind of like a chocolate brown, but it transitions to a black up here on the top of the head, and I think that's, again, very dark, very nice looking coloration, especially for an Ankylosaurus, because I really feel like, for the most part, this dinosaur might have been a kind of a darker color up here because a lot of predators are going to end up being taller than this dinosaur would be. So for the most part, you're going to want to kind of be able to disguise yourself as far as the upper side of the dinosaur, especially if it's laying down and sleeping, you're kind of going to want to maybe match in with your background and the foliage or wherever you're at. So I feel like the coloration being a darker color up here on the top is a smart choice as far as an ankylosaurus goes. Again, I've never seen one in person, so I could be completely wrong, but that's just kind of what I feel. So I feel like the coloration of this one is a little bit more natural than the previous version, although I will say I think I like the previous version just due to the flashiness a little bit more. Up here you can see that the beak of the Ankylosaurus is nicely painted with a whitish coloration or like a light gray, and it's just kind of dry brushed on so you can see the detailing that they have included in the beak, the cracks and crevices quite nicely because they painted that with the dark brown that you see primarily on the head, but then dry brushed over it nice and light to help that detail kind of creep through. You've got the very nicely painted inside of the mouth with a pinkish coloration, and you can actually see the tongue in there, so that's really cool as well. The eyes are really nicely painted with an orange coloration, and then a black pupil, and just like all of the other Mojo Fun 2020 figures, is really, really nicely glossed. As you start to move back here into the body, you can again see that all of the armored areas and the spikes of the Ankylosaurus are painted in similar fashion to what you saw up here on the beak as far as kind of lightly being dry brushed over. So it helps all the cracks and crevices and detailing to kind of shine through and jump out at you more so by allowing that dark brown coloration to kind of creep through. So it's a pretty nice choice on their part, kind of a realistic idea they've gone with, I think. You can also see that the coloration for the most part on the upper side of the animal is like this nice dark black, and then as you reach the middle area of the back, the mid-back, it transitions to a brown, and it's a similar brown to what you see up here on the face, kind of like that chocolate brown. So it's some really nice color variation for sure when it comes to the overall appearance of an ankylosaurus. More often than not, when you see someone painting the upper side of the ankylosaurus, whatever the top of the animal is, it's usually the same coloration for the most part all the way through, aside from the armored area, but Mojo Fun has mixed it up a little bit here and transitioned it to like this very nice chocolate brown here in the mid-back area. 
and then we run out to the length of the tail and you can see that the detailing of course is awesome but the detailing is brought out beautifully once again on the club tail with that nice light dry brushing similar to the spikes and armor that we have all over up here you can see it's dry brushed with that same similar like a light white or light gray coloration all over it allowing the dark coloration underneath to kind of creep through and I think it really looks great fantastic choice on their part you can also see that the underside is painted with a nice light brown and it also looks really really cool you can really get a good sense of how much sculpt work is included in the ankylosaurus down there really nice work for sure this chocolate brown also kind of runs along the border of the black where it transitions to this light brown and you can see it runs the entire length of the dinosaur once again giving it some pretty darn nice color variation and that same brown kind of picks up here as you reach down into the legs and then transitions to a very dark like a burnt umber brown which is similar to what you see up here this is like black or like burnt umber brown up here as well that's all very dark and a little hard to distinguish exactly what color it is but I think it's again a pretty nice transition nice and smooth looks pretty good for the most part on both sides and again it's quite different than what we saw on the previous ankylosaurus as far as looking like a much more darker version as far as a size goes from the head to the tail you're looking at about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters in length and for a height I guess to the mid back area you're looking at close to two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters somewhere in that range as far as a comparison goes there is the initial ankylosaurus I have reviewed already along with this newer darker version and again very similar to what we've seen actually throughout the entire 2020 line from mojo fun when it comes to these dinosaurs that have been given alternate paint schemes you've got kind of the brighter version and you've got kind of the darker version so I really feel like maybe it's a male and female once again the male of course being the brighter version the female being the darker version and we've seen this consistently through the entire line with the Tyrannosaurus Rex you had kind of a bright green male version and then the darker brown female version with the Manchurosaurus same deal you had like a light brown kind of brighter male with like a red throat and then a darker brown sort of female so I really feel like they're kind of giving these paint schemes to insinuate maybe a male and female version of each which I really think is a very very cool idea on their part and once again a really cool almost like an Easter egg thing that they don't come straight out and tell you you just have to kind of pick up on it for yourself but I really do love that they do in fact include not only different variations of the paint schemes but sort of male and female versions of each. So this 2020 Mojo Fun Ankylosaurus is definitely a pretty nice looking figure. Again, he looks very happy just like the previous version did. Such a super happy looking Ankylosaurus as far as the way the mouth is kind of posed. He just kind of looks like he's smiling and I want to start petting his head, but regardless, it's still a really cool looking sculpt. It may not be the single most accurate Ankylosaurus that you're ever going to see, but I still think it's very appealing looking. This paint scheme, again, is a much darker version than what you saw in the previous one. I kind of like the previous version just because the orange kind of played off of the black back of the other one so well. It looked so cool and so flashy. But this one, again, looks very natural as far as the colorations used and much more natural than what we saw in the previous version. So it's really your preference. I personally like both, but I just like the orangish one a little bit more. But regardless, both are fantastic Ankylosaurus figures and both will soon be in stock on DeJenkins.com, EverythingDinosaur.com, and I believe are currently in stock on Minizoo. So make sure you pick this figure up from one of those three websites if you are in fact interested. But also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.